Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Today we start from level zero again. Today's the first day of its kind on FC24 because we are witnessing the turning of the seasons in Ultimate Team. Sounds like the turning of seasons in real life, like fall into winter as it feels like it is outside. But from grinding to level 40 with many stops along the way, we're all reset now back to level zero today with new rewards packs and probably some irrelevant TIFOs to chasing. Speaking of TIFOs, well, we maybe shouldn't speak about TIFOs too much because this might end up being a rant video. We talk about these TIFOs in Division Rivals and Milestone Rewards. We'll talk a lot about all the new season content today, what to expect, and maybe a couple leaks in today's video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. Let's look at yesterday's content because while it didn't seem like there was much, the actually the most hype about yesterday's content was the content that we thought we were going to get. That we didn't end up receiving. We did have yesterday a player SPC in the name of Ali Watkins. And it's mid. That's the best way to say it. Ali Watkins is kind of mid, guys. If they would have given him four-star skill moves, it would have been a lot better, in my opinion. The stats are okay. The playstyles are decent. If he had another scoring playstyle, that would probably be nice. But I think for the price, we were hoping for a bit larger of an upgrade for this Watkins card. Yes, it is a Prem Striker. But when you look at this card coming in at 100,000 coins... And you also take a look at Enketia from the Team of the Week being 30k and probably going to be cheaper than that here soon. They're not that far off of each other, and there's a big price difference there. Enketia is definitely not as good as Watkins, but in my opinion, this Watkins is probably a skip unless you're a Villa fan or you just really need a, pace, a pacey striker from the Prem and you have some fodder that you want to do. So that's kind of just a mid one there for me. We also had a challenge SPC yesterday for a, what was it, like a Mega Pack or something? That's a W. It's only 6k to do. Make sure you get that done. It's an untradeable Mega Pack, which then can give you a chance at a Centurion card and a chance at some fodder as well now we're gonna actually i can because i have a card i'm unassigned but we're gonna talk about the store i wish i could go into the store um but um maybe i can go in through draft the back way this is like the back door into the um ultimate team store enter with fc points does this work yeah don't have enough points does it take me to mana sign it does interesting it used to be you could get around into the store the back way do it going through that but um, we had a 25k pack that was added to the store yesterday, and you're like, Nate, why are we talking about this? Well, it's kind of like uh, a pack that gives you gold commons, and you're like, why would you pay 25k for a pack that gives out gold commons? Well, it's this SBC right here, the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade, that a lot of people need the gold commons for to go and get this SBC done, and we've rinsed our clubs, and this is EA being very smart and giving us an opportunity to do so. Now, I'm going to tell you something crazy, that pack is actually not bad value if you were going to spend coins on cards on the market to open those centurions packs because as it sits right now golds are about 550 to 600 coins and there's 45 gold players that you get in that pack so if we do the math if we go 550 coins times 45 players oh sorry that is not it that was an extra number was added on there let's go calculator again 550 times 45 24 000, basically 25,000 coins is how much it would cost you to go buy 45 gold commons and if you open the pack for 25k you're getting the same amount back yes it is untradeable you're also getting a chance at packing some of those expensive and maybe extinct if you will gold non-rares like Quan He Chan or Pedro Neto that a lot of people are trying to go after for evolutions you get a chance at a couple of those so if you're going to spend coins doing the upgrade packs I think that pack in the store is actually worth doing. I opened it twice yesterday. I got, um, you know, the 90 players out of it, two sets of 45, put them into the upgrade packs, rinse that in 84 times two. So instead of having to go buy all the players, it saves you time as well because you just open the pack and you get them. So there's value there. But again, be careful because that is legit a coin sink. Just like an SBC, it's a pack. Buying a store pack with coins is not all the time good. But that's one where it seems crazy. You actually could pack a Centurions out of it as well because Dunk is a common gold card as his base item. So you could pack him out of that. I uh, don't know really anybody that did, but it technically is possible now moving on to a little bit of other content that we had we had a nice objective yesterday and i'm gonna call it nice because they upgraded the packs in 83 double for this theme teamed pursuit you don't get any xp from it of course we're going to talk about xp today a lot but it is pretty easy to do check your clubs uh for efl championship players i believe silver efl championship players or, or all of them 
have gone up a little bit in price. I was selling some yesterday for like 700 to 1,000 coins. So that is a club check right there. And then lastly, team of the week seven that we had yesterday as well. It's an okay team of the week, to be honest. They did a really nice boost here on Wendy Renard. Gave her a plus, what is it, 17 pace from 53 up to 70. Kind of reminiscent of like, I don't know, the Ruben Diaz upgrade that we had earlier on in the year or Matt's Hummels. Uh, McKay from Arsenal looks decent. Uh, almost hold it gang. Kind of like it reminds me of um, like an Acuna type card. The rest of the team of the week, though, of course, Holland being a heavy hitter, Kane being a heavy hitter in there. And Ketia and Lozano are nice uh, in the team as well. And then we did, we actually had two featured players. Uh, and Ketia was one of them. And then I forget who the other featured player was. It doesn't show, oh, maybe Jacko? No, DeMarcos. DeMarcos is a decent card as well. So two featured players in a team of the week. Not bad. Just mid. But not amazing, but it's okay. Now, the content that didn't come yesterday, you might have been like, Nate, why is why is Ardergula uh, trending on Ardergulaire? Sorry. Why is he trending on Footbin? Like, what's going on here with Gulaire, some of his other cards like Harvey Elliott, uh, Ryan Cherokee? Why are these cards up so much in price yesterday, and why are they trending on Footbin? Well, here's the thing. There were some leaks yesterday, and I don't know if these leaks are fake or if they were true, but somebody was leaking somewhere or saying somewhere that we were going to get a center attacking mid evolution. Of course, we did not get an evolution at content. Well, these cards are up a ton because people are buying these in expectation of an evolution to be coming soon because we haven't gotten a goalkeeper evolution yet or an evolution specifically for center attacking mids. And that has caused all of these cards to go up. Now, once again, I will say, be very careful buying and selling these cards. If you bought them at like minimum price and you're selling them at 10K, you can get banned if you're buying like 20 or 30 of these at a time. So just be very careful. But it's crazy to see these prices go up just based off of a leak. Now, I don't know if this leak, again, is factual. Some people were saying this leak was from TikTok. And anytime you see a leak on TikTok, uh, yeah, probably shouldn't believe it. Just being completely honest with you. I don't know where this leak originated from. I don't know who posted it. I haven't seen people posting about an evolution leak. And um, I really don't know, but that did not drop yesterday. So you did have like Keppa was 3K. He went back down to a 1700 where he is now. But there's still a lot of people that you can tell are buying up these cards because their prices are still very inflated. So there's people that believe or maybe there is an actual leak of an evolution coming soon. But it did not drop yesterday, which actually makes sense because why would they drop an Evo when they told us we were going to get 12 Evos during the first season and we've hit that quota and then some, I think. A couple of the other ones counted for extras, I guess. So at the earliest, I guess there could be another evolution today. We'll talk about that. But that is kind of like the content that everybody was talking about yesterday dropping and then it never actually did, but it's still impacting the market. So if there's some random cards in your club they are selling for a bunch, check your silvers. Some silvers are up. Check some goalkeepers, especially silvers. Those are up a lot in value right now. Not a bad idea to take the cash. And again, you're not going to get banned if you have one in your club and you sell it for 10K or even seven or 8,000 coins. It's if you have 20 or 30 or 40 of them and you all sell them right away at around nine, 10,000 coins or extremely inflated prices. That's where the bans can take place. So don't worry unless you're invested in a lot of those gold comments. Now let's get to the news today. That was a lot about yesterday. Today on Thursday is a brand spanking new season. And of course, we've been in this opening or welcome to FC24. Welcome to the club is the name of the first season that we have been a part of. And it all resets today. What does this mean? Since it's the first time this year where we're getting a new season, what does it really entail? Well, of course, today at Rivals Rewards, that's the time reset. As you can see, five hours from when I'm recording this, it'll be very soon after this video is dropped. Everything under the Season Progress tab and the Seasonal tab is going to be changing or going away at in some way, shape, or form, all right? The FC Founder, all this stuff is going to be going away, I do believe, because that kind of transition is over, right? Yesterday was a day we had to play by to get our free Holland again. You can see, like, on the main screen here, like, it shows. I guess it doesn't show anymore because that timer is up. But that, like, free Holland card that we're going to get in December, you had to play by yesterday um, to be getting that. And a lot of stuff was, like, November 1st for all the Founder's evolutions and stuff. I think the Founder's evolution even goes away or... Something like that goes away today too. So anyways, the biggest part of this is the new season brings new players, new packs, new rewards inside of the season. And we all go from level 40 or whatever level you are in the season. It all resets and we go back to zero and we start a whole new season grinding our way up, getting XP. And really the most hype thing today is the players, right? You look at level five, level 10, basically every level it goes up by five, five, 10, 15, 20, all the way up to 40. We would assume it'd be the same again. Remember last time we had the season 
season. We saw Caddy Oglu, we saw Mace, Thomas Illermendi. Of course, we got to level 40 in the past week or so, two weeks, and we see Cunha, Kone, and the 86 times three. I would expect a little bit of bigger and better packs. The only thing that worries me a little bit is I don't remember any new pack code being tweeted. As I'm kind of making this video, I don't see any new pack code that's been added, and that worries me maybe a little bit. I was hoping that we would get some better packs included in the code here. You know, like maybe an 87 times 3 or like 88 times 2. I don't know. Just stuff that would maybe ins insinuate some better packs coming. But we'll definitely have a lot of packs in here to watch out for today, and that'll be all the, the rise and the raise and the hype. We'll be seeing what is available via the season rewards. Now, there could be some market movements. Uh, usually earlier on in the year, there's not as many. But, you know, imagine like... This happens more so towards the end of the year. Imagine they drop like, um, remember last year, I mean, last year we had a couple pretty nice season cards at the very end. But if they drop a season card of somebody who already has a special, which is very unlikely at the early stage of the game, the card in the market would definitely drop. Or if there's like an insane, um, let's say there's an insane midfielder from Barca. Let's say they give like, Gavi's probably a bad example. Let's, let's, let's say they give Gavi a season card and it's like even remotely close to this Pedri. This Pedri could potentially drop. But of course, all those season cards, you're not going to be able to obtain right away. It's the season, right? You guys know how it works. We're going to have to grind the XP. And that's the whole thing that resets today, right? The grind of the XP, which I haven't thought about XP for like two weeks because I've been at level 40. But we're going to have to start thinking about that again today, watching the objective section. Probably we won't be able to get past like level three or four, to be completely honest, uh, or at least too far um, above that today with all of that. Also, something that resets today that we don't look at a lot is moments. I believe the moments gallery in, in here is going to reset, and I think that might even be part of the loading screen. So, uh, And one of the things that EA tweeted out this week, so watch the moments if you have leftover stars or if you're doing this before the season resets. Might not be a bad idea to go in here and look through some of these moments things because like the set piece frenzy for Sam Kerr is going to be going away. Um, you can see four hours, Sam Kerr wants more right there going to go away. And then the star gallery, the packs will change in there as well. Now also today, the, probably the biggest thing that people are looking forward to today or have looked forward to with rivals rewards in the new season, especially are milestone rewards. And this is where everybody is going to get upset today, guys, because this is where I'm putting my expectations I'm putting my expectations here that we are not getting any packs from Milestone Rewards, which is a problem. Um, this is what I expect it to be, but it's unbelievable. And um, I again, I hope it's a visual glitch, but EA said in the last pitch notes that the bronze TIFO was a visual glitch, and now it shows bronze, silver, and gold. So it's not looking good for us, boys. And this is just ridiculous because last year we got a lot of decent packs for these rewards. Now, if we actually are getting packs today... Um, there might be a little bit of panic on the market because people be like, oh my goodness, everybody's getting insane packs. But really what that would only do, in my opinion, since they're all in tradable packs anyway, in the slight chance that that is a visual issue, it would probably just make fodder go up and maybe some of your in-packs promo cards drop a little bit because it would be all untradable supply. So it'd be something that people would be packing and they would be listing their tradable version up on the market. But again, if you give people untradeable fodder, what are they going to go and do? They're going to go and do SBCs, and there's a lot of those right now. That's why I think that fodder could actually go up if we get legit packs in there, which I don't know what to expect, man. I'm honestly, I'm setting my expectations at it is that it is only a TFO, so that if it's above that, I'll be happily surprised. But if it is just the TFO, I'll still be annoyed, but I won't be like raging, I guess. I don't even know, man. Still, that does not make sense. For 90 games of rivals during the first season, just a TFO, not like 100k packs like before. Kind of wild. So, evolutions as well. One thing I want to point out for the new season is uh, when we started season one, we started out with new evolutions. We started with the Founders Evo, the Welcome to Evolutions. And one thing that I'm really hoping to see today is I'm really hoping to see like a Welcome to Evolutions type of situation again. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... A lot of the evolutions that we have had recently, like we can't even get their card to their full potential. I don't know if you've seen this or not, but like some players like um, I think it was Belgarde uh, for one of his evolutions. You know, you, you needed to have him into the welcome to the evolutions to get the highest rated card. Right. So you see this one right here where you could have gone welcome to evolutions, then trailblazer, then box to box to get him to an 87. And it's kind of like, well, I wish I had another welcome to evolutions or just a simple plus one Evo again to be able to upgrade somebody just a plus one. And that way they become an Evo card and then I can Evo them further and get a higher upgrade later on, like really easy to do. 
I'm hoping for something like that again today as a part of the new season. Something simple in Evolutions. It doesn't have to be the one for the center attack and mid to the goalkeeper like we were looking at with Guler and you know Harvey Elliott and, and stuff. So I'm just hoping for a simple Evo today to be somehow dropped in the game as well. I think that'd be nice. And I think it's maybe a small chance for that, but that's probably just me hoping for something nice. We'll see. We do have so many Evos right now that I'm really not expecting to get an Evo today, but we'll just have to see. Let's talk market for a second as well. I'm pretty much liquid. I did buy a couple of Team of the Week Renards here just to try to trade with at the moment because she's a really, really rare card. But I do have about 2.75 million coins, pretty, pretty much full liquid. And I know we talked a lot in length about yesterday in the market and the market dropping soon and stuff like that. I, again, I was not trying to make that video yesterday to cause panic, and, and it didn't. Like the, the, There was no panic on the market yesterday. There was drops after content. It was This was because Jude did not get into Team of the Week, but we talked about that ahead of time. We sold ahead of time. We didn't expect that price to go up by any means. Uh, could there be a market rise today with Rivals Rewards? That's the next question. There could be a slight bit of a rise. Like I, I think there could be a rise today, just a little bit though, and it would probably be on a couple of your most meta golds, maybe some out of packs in forums. Again, I'll mention it, guys. At this stage of the year, I'm almost solely looking on your most meta gold cards and probably just out of packs. You could also watch some Centurions cards and the current team of the week for a couple of movements today too. But um, I'm probably just going to be sitting on my coins, especially because I have a bit of a busy, busy weekend. I won't be on the game that much. Um, after today, um, I'm really thinking I'm just going to sit on my coins, guys. And another place that we're going to have to keep a close eye on the market is SBC fodder because it is it is dropping. Let's be honest. It is dropping a little bit. 85s were like 8.5K on Monday. Now they're like 7.3. Um, 83s were 1.8. They're now 1.5. It's not dropping a lot. What's dropping a little bit more is like 86 is at 12K. 88s are 25 again. 89s are like 38. So they're down just a little if fodder drops a decent amount today, like I'm talking about 89s after marquee matchups and maybe reward supply going back down to like 36, I hope they go that low, 35 or 36, that could be a potential buy scenario because of, again, an SBC that we have coming soon that is Jude. And I wanted to take a look back and see when Kubo was dropped. Kubo was dropped on a Friday, the first Friday in October. And he was dropped an hour before the content time. So um, I think I forgot about that, to be completely honest. It was on a Friday that Kubo was dropped. So we would expect that it'd be the same thing for Jude Bellingham um, this Friday as well. And that would be an SBC if it comes out in a promo Friday that a lot of people would do. Even if it's very expensive, it's going to have some pull. So higher rated fodder would be the most needed for that. Again, I think that's the reason why people would be buying high rated fodder right now. But watch that part of the market if it dips enough. Again, I'm talking cards going down like 88s at like 23, 22K, 87s at like 15, 89s at 35, and, and 90s, especially 90s at like under like 49K for 90s would be mint. That would be super mint. If those prices go that low, there could be an investment opportunity there for the Jude Player of the Month. Even if his SBC is expensive, like I'm saying, it would probably be one that a lot of people would try to do because we are going to be getting some more packs via the objectives here soon. And people would feel okay starting an SBC like that if they see that the fodder we're going to be getting from the season is pretty good. Now, other SBC content that we'll be getting today, in my opinion, we're getting this dynamic duo today. As a part of the loading screen, it shows this car design. This seems like an SBC that's going to be coming out today. It's probably going to be cheap. I'm not expecting a big day of content today on Thursday. Probably this dynamic duo um, of some pacey mad lads from mines. And then also marquee matchups. That is what I'm expecting today. Also for marquee matchups, I'll just put this out there. Gold cards, if you invested early for MMs this week, which I've not done MM investing at all this year, the packs just seem to be getting slowly worse, by the way, which we don't like. But um, if you invested before Monday for marquee matchups, I mean, that's a gold mine right now because all golds are up to 600 coins. And if you were buying stuff, golds for like 450 or 500, like you're instantly making profit. Again, consider selling in the hype because golds are so expensive. Marquee matchups itself is going to be more expensive this week. And if the packs aren't good, I would consider not doing it. I mean, I kind of forget to do it every week anyway, but I would consider not doing it for real if it's going to cost more because the gold cards are going to be inflated because of the upgrade packs and the Centurions crafting upgrades. So I'm expecting a bit of a quiet day, but as always, I would expect a little bit of supply at rewards today. I would ex expect a little bit of supply at marquee matchups, and that could present an opportunity to either trade with a few cards and see some rises 
or uh, maybe put a little investment into fodder if prices get low enough. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the market more tomorrow in a video because um, I'm really interested to see how the market does Friday and Saturday. I know it dropped off a lot this last weekend, but that was because we had an insane evolution. I don't think that's going to happen again. The market, even though as we look in the grand scheme of things, we know it's going to go down a lot. I think the market might do okay this weekend. Still have some drops in there, but I think I'm not expecting Kyle Walker to go down another like 20% like he did this last weekend. Not that drastic of a rise in my opinion. We'll just have to see how it looks as we head into the content drop tomorrow on this game. So if you did enjoy the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. I will see you guys for a video tomorrow for the Team 2 of Centurions. It's been Nate with account. See you guys there. Peace.